Hello, everyone. Welcome to another to the retitled first episode of SRB Gaming uh, presents. I am Kristen. I'm Christopher. Yeah. So, if you did exist there, update video from here on in. Um, our gaming really SRB TV stuff will just be called SRB Gaming presents now. They're just SRB Gaming. That's it. Or yeah, SRB Gaming. So, on today's episode, we are taking a look at the newest war table that will take a deep dive into the first DLC character for Marvel's Avengers, Kate Bishop. Yeah. So let's just get this out of the way. It's yeah. it's been a it's been an interesting it's, few months for this game. Age. It's like where do you start? Mm -hmm. Um the launch was kind of meh. Um patches have been coming in the gig lo gigabyte loads. Oh yes um the content has Post game contest already warns out it's welcome one month in. Mm -hmm. Um oh oh they lost over uh Square Enix has lost over sixty million dollars from this game. Oh yeah. And oh yeah, that was the other thing. Apparently over reportedly ninety six percent of players aren't playing the game anymore. Yeah. And no uh, so, it's ninety six. Oh, oh, and this DLC, which was supposed to come out in October apparently, got delayed. And the next gen version of the game got delayed till next year. Mm -hmm. Well, current gen, depending on how Everybody you look at it. Everybody still now. agrees to this point that this game should have been pushed to next gen, to next year at least to come out. I wouldn't mind waiting. Look, as long as I, they had it 100. percent But it's like no. you know what, um, you know it's so full stop for me and my me and Christopher is that we we were still playing the game. We're either we're playing together or playing our own. What was that? We're that four percent that's playing. We're still the four percent that's playing. Yeah. Definitely. Um. Nah. It's just uh the games for me personally. The games just something to play for now. Just something to you know pass the time. You know, I don't. Uh, we try to do multiplayer, but lately it's been difficult because we're all been busy. Um. I've as of this recording, yes, last night I got all six heroes to power one fifty. Um. I'm not my my way to one twenty next right now. I wish you best of luck on that because I it. It's it's been a while and it hasn't gotten any better. It's there's those days where you really do have to take a break from it because it's just the same missions over and over again. And mm -hmm. the only way you can get even decent gear is you have to play through the same missions over and over again. And I just finally recently found a trick to where you can easily get like if you have enough DNA keys, you can easily fly around one area to get like sixty upgrade modules. Leave, go back, re restart the mission. Go do it again as long as as long as you have the <laughs> DNA keys and stuff like that. Yeah. Just keep on doing no no, I found out there is a trick that we missed where you could do we can do it without DNA keys. Oh, the trick apparently is you do you open the, the 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 um those shield chests by um activating Hulkbuster and opening it. Because for some reason when you're in Hulkbuster open up the DNA chest, it doesn't ask for a DNA key. It just opens. Mm -hmm. And you can transform out, jump to another area, do that. So apparently, they patched out like a month ago, mm. and I only just found out about it. And I'm like, <laughs> but okay, I have farmed enough DNA keys where it's a problem. And um, hold on, 150, everybody. Um, okay, so based on the synopsis they've given us, uh, they do bring up how like Kate Bishop had was on the fast track to becoming a member, uh, member of the Avengers, but then A Day happened, and yeah. All then, that, yeah. All the yeah. shit of A-Day happened, and then after that, she wound up just going, uh, helping um, her uh, mentor, Hawkeye, trying to find out the whereabouts of Nick Fury, because he mysteriously vanished when A-Day happened. Yeah. During the event, oh, after the event A-Day happened, he mysteriously vanished. Mm -hmm. So this is supposed to be, I guess, finding out where Nick Fury is, introducing us to Kate Bishop in this video, as yeah. well as apparently introducing a new enemy type, because one of the biggest gripes everybody has is that there's a grand total like four to five actual bosses in the game and the rest are either robots guys in hazmat suits or guys in hazmat suits and robots <laughs> what it is is that what it is is that uh, it's like i watched some uh, i watched everybody's reviews and they said the same thing going it's like we're expecting a whole lot of variety in this game you know a whole lot of variety not only of like you know henchmen or something like that but mainly just like main bad guys you know it's like a whole variety but it's the same what same same ones that we keep you know getting and that's it 
Yeah, over so and it's over. Like they're again. not mixing it up or not changing up or maybe, oh, maybe change up to where they're teaming up together, you know, where we get to fight them both at the same time. You know, it's like it's like they're it's they're not adding in the variety. That's why people are like backing out. People are not literally just staying with the game anymore because it's the same old stuff i mean look at the division yeah. division they're always mixing it up they're always changing yeah it like people shit on division even division two to an extent but you know fuck at least they're fucking trying you they're, know here they're, it's still, just, they're still doing better than uh, even marvel they're still doing strong here, they're still, here they're still it feels in variety here it feels like they like they feel like they ru- they had they had to rush it and then they're by trying time to get it out can't... before the next gen, that's what they're trying to do, and I think that was their biggest mistake. It's like I at think, this point, yeah, they if... should have just they should have just had it straight come out to next gen everything and be more prepared. Yeah, if they, this came out on next gen systems, had all the bugs worked out a bit longer, maybe would have done better. Um, as of right now, though, the marketing campaign has been great, great, um, because you can get exclusive costumes via Five Gum. Mm-hmm. I. I bought five gum and all I got was fucking nameplates. It's fucking sad. That's how you get. It, it's it's yeah. sad. It's it's and, a marketing ploy. It's it's a type of thing where like I hate to sit, bring bring them up, but angry Joe, you know, it's just like this is all one large marketing ploy. It's like everything. Oh, you're all gonna get it, but it's like, but then you have all these exclusive deals where oh, it was Sprint or it was it Verizon or something like that. You know, it's like it's and, one of those things. Yeah, and then like full stop is like I haven't spent a, 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 if anybody ever sees my costumes all name that's that i didn't spend any money i had actual cash i well, actually I spent any actual been, cash so been playing this game for like three months or over three months straight now. oh close to came out in september about two and a half months now you know i've been playing this game for over two and a half months now and it's just all the stuff i have is legit like i was there when they gave that we're sorry bp south park line mm-hmm. gave us all a bunch of crap and now I'm like nearing the end of my rope. Like the only missions I can't do are the Tachyon Rift missions because you need multiplayer. That's multiplayer yeah. is required to go to the Tachyon mission. So for some reason, the first Tachyon mission you can do on your own it makes no sense. Um, and what's worse is the Tachyon missions, they're just time trial versions of missions you've already done, either in story or in a different mission. It's just sad. Yeah, it, it's, um, it's sad. It's, it's a type of thing where it's like they're trying to come up with different ideas and it's like, it's it's like they were not prepared of how massive this was going to be. Like you do realize this is the Avengers. You have to make sure you're on par with this. Yeah, like you're 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 dealing with the most powerful, you know, most popular group currently, not only in film but like in culture right now, you know. And it's like, and this is what you're doing to them, you know. So, yeah. Okay, so um, uh, not much is known about Kate Bishop on our end. We know she is the ment- she is the student of Hawkeye, um, kind of like a- another daughter to him. Um, we did get a brief tease of what she what her story is about, but um, she is easily um interesting character. What's weird is they already confirmed that both her and Hawkeye will be playable, which yeah, they have promised both of the characters will play differently because technically both of them are standard character but we did see teases of what she's capable because apparently she has like a teleporting trick in yeah. this game and like i'm just hoping that these characters that they have lined up pretty much and whatever plans they have them it I, i'm really hoping that it they bring more to it and bring more variety not only to not only location wise but also just you know mission wise where it's like you could change it up or do something that's different a survival mode or just anything just something yeah a lot of people up. yeah a lot of people were upset in the thor um character mission uh char- icon- iconic missions they call them um where like they tease loki but they didn't show loki <laughs> they, like yeah, they, they tease they more that, it's like you know and and you didn't you know it's like you didn't have and that's the thing too you didn't really you had iconic missions but not for all the avengers it was only for certain ones because even i'm sitting there going wait where was iron man does iron man have an iconic mission i feel like this is i feel like it's gonna be a destiny situation with the first one where first one wasn't received well and then they do improve upon it for the most part in the sequel and that's what i'm hoping for i'm hoping that pretty much in the sequel if they they'll prove they'll listen to what people have to say and they have they'll have more time to work on it because then they'll have the next gen consoles already fully out and they'd be able to do whatever they can with it as much as they can and more variety especially with 
all the other, like I said, with all the other stuff with Stadia, cloud gaming, all that type of stuff. You okay, know? So, so we're just, like, I'm really hoping. Yeah. So, okay, we're just going to dive right into this. This is going to be our reaction to the Avengers War Table deep dive for Kate Bishop. So, yeah. here we go. Go. Hey guys, welcome back. I know shit's been whack, yo, but here's what we got for you now, dog. Waiting for that sorry we fucked up. We're sorry. We're sorry. Welcome to a special Marvel's Avengers War Table Deep Dive, a new format that focuses on one topic, and today that's our first new yes, hero of the Yes, we don't want to talk about the Kate other Bishop. topics people want us to talk about. Since launch mm-hmm. in September, millions of you have started on this Another journey with us. Extent. And now hu- hundreds of you are Mama still playing. <laughs> many of you with her disarming sincerity, going from fangirl to Avenger. Yeah, the best initial part story about of Kamala reassembling the Avengers is the foundation the for part. all it our content to come, really which good. continues our world story with new heroes and story experiences at no you know, they additional cost. Still make uh, Ant Man playable Kate character. Bishop, Operation Taking Aim, which will be available December eighth. Kate's Operation December is the 8th, first okay. new chapter in season one of the Avengers initiative. We gotta wait. We gotta wait. After it. coming uh, back together and standing up to Aim, the first battle wait, was won, they? but they the said war December is far from is over. Your official the new leader of Aim has far plans and that's Monica story continues who apparently with we find out in post operation taking aim. technology better come back all right I'll try but okay here we go if I don't nope not having that conversation you know we thought you were dead nobody heard from you it's a bridge through time nobody's been foolish enough to actually try it time travel I'm giving up on my friend Katie we're talking about time Collapsing in on itself and oh, eventually tear reality apart. Ooh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I have so many questions. Um, but I like the energy, so let's just turn this thing on before I overthink. Did, did you not just hear me say tearing reality apart? We're gonna go get Clint out of the wrong Which timeline. Cut Monica off from the future self. Simple. I like it. That's still messing with time. That's that. That might work. So going to the past, <laughs> rent Clint from being one shot at this. Coming away where he is in the future. Let's go get Hawkeye. Okay, I made that pretty cool. Oh, I like that take now. What? Ooh, a new enemy type. Oh, it's like a. Oh wait, it's another fucking adapt toy! This is a new adapt toy. But with all the Avengers. Look at that. He's more he's got the shield, the, the hammer. It's just and another armor. It's just another fucking adapt toy! Are you fucking kidding me? It's a super adapt toy! Operations Fuck. are new story experiences that can feature new playable heroes, villains, biomes, and more. We planned from the beginning to build an interconnected narrative that unfolds and evolves as we release new content. Operations Leading feature beats of new story that, new that work together to form an arc. Yeah, in like December. Like a run of comics or episodes in a season this of a show. This new content for last Kate's month. Operation comes with her own story and unique rewards that you can only get in Taking Aim. In Taking Aim, Kate <laughs> is searching for her mentor, Hawkeye. But along the way, she discovers a conspiracy involving Commander Nick Fury, time travel, and a frightening new enemy, the Super Adaptoid. What did I fucking call it? What did I fucking call it? Super Adaptoid was originally introduced in Tales of Suspense number 84. It has a cosmic origin and is programmed to defeat Captain America by copying the abilities of the Avengers. Oh shit. In Marvel's Avengers, it has all of the Avengers' powers and is considered an Omega-level threat in the tougher, multiplayer-only version of the Super Adaptoid boss fight. Our Kate Bishop is voiced by Ashley Birch, best known for her roles as Tiny Tina in Borderlands 2 and 3, Aloy in Horizon Zero Dawn, and Chloe Price in Life is Dream. We are so excited to welcome Ashley to the cast. Oh, hey! What's up? What took you so long? Fighting robots? Ah, Me too. I want to fight not robots and not guys in robots. Kate learned much of what she knows from Clint, so that's reflected in her kit. But she has her own heroics and finishers and intrinsics. 
Kate Bishop is a world-class archer and an adept swordswoman. With repurposed aim tech, she uses quantum a... energy to power a unique set of special abilities. Okay, quantum Her energy. Her intrinsic attacks teleport to the enemy and deal increased sword damage. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's cool. She can auto transport to her blink to skills like a double gun. jump, air dash, blink. and traverse ledges via short range okay, teleportation. That's, that's gonna be more useful than most others. I know, right? Kate can parry enemies with quantum shift, teleporting away from the attack and striking from behind. Okay. As a master archer, that Kate makes has no difference when the guys have giant shields with upgrades around them. That can be unlocked. The For starters, her razor Three arrows can be fired in a rapid three-shot ranged combo, or can be fired with perfect timing for bonus damage. So that's damage. a range attack. Okay. You can fire multiple arrows at the same time with scattershot arrows, which is handy for crowd control or for doling out damage to enemies close up. Or dealing with those goddamn fucking flying arrows are great for staggering drones. enemies and breaking through their defenses. Arrows, which is the one I'm going to be using the most. And don't and forget, anything like Iron Man's rocket. arrows do high stun damage to anything inside the cloud of smoke. Oh, okay, I like that. Stunned Kate's them. heroics are unique to her and fit her personality to a T. Yeah, Decoy heroic? is Kate's support heroic, and it is one of our her favorites. Decoy. It spawns a hologram replica of her that oh. shoots arrows of quantum energy at targets to distract them. Okay, cool. Okay, that's, that's, that's After fine. image lets you swap places with a decoy, and self-destruct remote detonates the decoy to trigger a large burst of quantum damage. Okay, that's cool. Oh, so it's a... Uh, oh, cool. It, it connects her both arrow support arrow assault heroic allows her to teleport over long distances while triggering a large quantum explosion that lifts enemies into the air on her arrival. Okay, cool. Whoa. Wormhole is an upgrade option for Warp Arrow that creates portals allies can use to quickly teleport across the battlefield to join Kate. Okay, that's cool. The okay, that, that, that's overdrive useful. provides unlimited intrinsic quantum energy, overdrive. empowering her bow so she can fire oh, quantum oh, energy just, arrows uh, with it's, it's explosive it's, it's results. It's her ability. Kate also has a host of quick and agile sword strikes to deal with enemies that foolishly costumes. venture within striking they distance. One of them. They As you can see, Kate one of them. has a plentiful okay, arsenal that's at her cool. disposal to wreck shots on aim and then some every new hero comes with oh, yeah, a ton of cosmetics including emotes oh, costumes, classic, classic outfit. and nameplates many that one's can pretty be funny. gameplay but players can also purchase certain cosmetics for their favorite heroes Once yeah you we know Kate's story you can jump into a late game version of kate's final mission to test your skills and earn even better rewards Shit. Before we go, here's a quick look at what's coming after Kate. Hawkeye, Operation Future Imperfect. Okay, cool. We have preview uh, to the second. The story picks up after the conclusion of Kate's operation yeah. and brings us face to face with a distant future where all hope is lost. That's what you're talking about. Operation Hawkeye Future Imperfect will be available early 2021. We'll have um, more details. Fallout Avengers? What the fuck? In the very near future. You know what? Uh, I was like... Maestro? The end of the world. Oh! oh Old Man Hulk! That's Maestro. That's my no good. Okay, you can use Maestro. Season one of the Avengers Initiative will bring big changes, and that all starts with story. That's cool. That includes next gen. Marvel's Avengers is coming to next gen consoles early 2021. Yeah, we already know that. And all current owners will receive a free upgrade on both platforms. Be warned, free upgrade means you download your the current entire game, you play game on, on the new PS5. consoles, including cross gen Xbox. play, and you'll notice improved performance already with the new hardware. Our journey began with Kamala's single player story and will grow with both Kate and Clint operations. And we have more improvements and features yet to come. We're always listening to our players and sure asks for future features like cross platform play. We hear you loud and clear. As always, thank you for always telling us what you think. Make sure you visit yeah, playavengers.com for our weekly blog guy. where you can find <laughs> everything from patch notes to tips and fun content that you created. Until then, we'll see you online and in the game. So December 8th is the official yeah. I just want to see how many people I'm going to refresh I just want to see how many people are like liking this video compared to like this December like, 8th yeah December 8th no ad cost yeah 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 okay so that was the war table deep dive into Kate Bishop so um okay so basically should come it's December 8th um they ha luckily it looks like they only had to lay it by like a month and a half I guess mm -hmm. um hoping is bring some people back but um apparently the story is um 
Kate knows about this future imperfect that was brought up. So she wants to go the use time future. travel. Yeah, she will. Yeah. She knows about the alternate future, and she's she wants to go help. Uh, pretty much, Clint, you know, redirect his path in the past. Way. In the past, yeah. So it yeah, explains so... why she does a lot of this jumping through time stuff. It explains that at least because it's so... like she's time traveling. Yeah, so it includes um, it does include new the air confirm includes new areas. Um, it looks like a couple new mission types, but they look kind of the same to what I've done in vaults. Um, and the most annoying part, the new enemy is just a bigger version of an enemy we've already been fighting in the regular game stuff. So, so aside from that, um, I I don't know. Based on what I see with Kate, is she looks fun. Uh, one of the things I think I like what they did with her is like unlike Cap or Black Widow, mm-hmm. she definitely has better traversal skills, um, which from your experience, Christopher, Cap is lacking in. <laughs> oh, that was funny. I'm sorry, Fun it's, it's, still, it's still um, lacking in me for for traversal skills. It's it's. But- yeah, so she has like different. Yeah, she has different abilities. She can do um, fire one arrows, scatter shot arrows, explosive arrows, no punch bag arrows, punching mm-hmm. glove arrows. But um, she has a bunch of quantum. For Clint, so. Yeah, the quantum abilities. Uh, ones were like it let her teleport closer. Arrows that let her teleport right in front of the enemy. Others were she can use it after image that not only works as a decoy but also yeah, works her, her as like heroics, an explosive, yeah. as an explosive device. A wormhole ability, which lets helps her and her allies traverse across the map easier, which should help out for a lot of pe- uh, Cap and Widow players. Mm-hmm. Um, um, anything else that stood out to you with uh, Kate? Um, I don't know. It, it's 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 very different, pretty much. I like how they're including like you're not just the bow and arrows. How she's skilled with the sword. You know, mm-hmm. she's able to you know the different takedowns. You know, the new takedowns. Yeah. And stuff like that that we have with her and her astro like you said the astral projection you know where it's like okay you know for the heroic and then use it to either get back in that same exact spot or use it more as of like luring them in and then just exploding that astral projection you know one of those you yeah know? so it's, it's she, she's a fascinating character so far i mean not until i start playing her just to see you know how she's really going to fully feel and stuff like that um but like you said i think I'm hoping this is the start of them trying to get people back online, just because not, not only because of Kate, but look at what they teased for for Hawkeye's. Uh, yeah, actual, so yeah, so one stuff. Of, yeah, so one of the things I don't like right now about this expansion is like I do like enjoy new areas. I do like why well, seeing a Kate. She looks fun to. She's gonna be mm-hmm. fun fun to play. Um, Grace voice voice actress attached to her, but like. Then you just got the one new enemy, which is a bigger version of an enemy we already fight in the um, main game. Super stuff. adaptoid. The super adaptoid, which and you I, can only fight him in multiplayer mode. That they which they did that. They stated which they sucks as enough as it is because their multiplayer base is pretty low overall. It's like not good. So hopefully, it's convincing just enough people to come back to where people probably enjoy I th- it. I, honestly, I don't. I, I think they're not going to fully come back until probably Hawkeye. Because it yeah, so because yeah, I was you gonna, the, you, it looks like you're gonna finally fight in a new type of environment in the future. So yeah, that was the other big thing they unveiled was the first look at um, Hawkeye's uh, post story uh, mis- expansion, which is uh, Future Imperfect, mm-hmm. which she's a old man Hawkeye traversing the what appears to be an old man Hawkeye traversing terrains of a just destroyed uh, Earth. This, pretty much. this would have shown what if. Amix is succeeded. That's what it is. It's yeah. So, which does ties in, like we said before, ties in the Kate story about how like time, this time trial aspect of her having to go back in time to try to help Clint with whatever mission he's on to try to help prevent this future. Exactly. Now, one big thing they teased and showed at the end, which you know more about and I don't, is Maestro, Maestro. Maestro which is like an old yeah. man Hulk from the looks of it. So, explain it to, to us. For, it has to do with AIM as well. Okay, um, explain. He, his mind has been taken over uh, by this entity, pretty much, and he becomes this like supervillain, this new supervillain in the future where he has everything under control. He enjoys battle, and I was reading it just recently battle and sex and stuff like that and he's just like did you just say wait say that again did you say battle and sex yes that's what i was reading i was reading battle and sex 
Yes. So you're telling me there's a way where he he can defeat you by porking you? I I don't know. It's just it's a matter of pretty much um... so fucking random. Mm-hmm. Okay, so okay, so it looks like Maestro may be the main villain of that. Like how super adaptable is the main villain of Kate Bishop's story? Um, I, my only hope with that, based on little I know about Maestro and stuff, I'm hoping he just doesn't play like a bomb when you take him on, like Abomination in the game. I'm hoping oh, yeah. he just doesn't play like that. I hope like. He 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 acts more like uh, playing Hulk, uh, Hulk, you know, well, here, with the battle yeah, axe. He, he, he has more of intelligence because here Maestro possesses Bruce Banner's intelligence, but also Hulk's more malevolent, you know, like traits. You know, has more of like a, you know a strength and everything. It didn't answer my question really, but okay. <laughs> well, oh, I'm just saying. I'm just stating. Hopefully, he doesn't. You know, like you said, he doesn't fight like a uh, you know abomination where it's just. You know, where it's just like he's just brute force. Now, hopefully, he, yeah. you know, maybe he uses his intelligence of how to bring you down, or it's like how you have to fight him instead. I think the biggest issue I have with them showing the Hawkeye stuff is the, it just makes the Kate Bishop stuff make feel, kind of feel like a stepping stone to the bigger, more impactful expansion. And that's why I said, and that's why I said, I don't think it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna start drawing people just in until Hawkeye, because you have more variety and you and, have yeah, a new and world. I, the, the think, fight in yeah i think and that's why they showed um that's why they sh- tease his and expansion. i'm hoping i'm hoping in this alternate future hopefully we get newer enemies at least newer henchmen or something like that maybe you know hoax you know people or something like that you know that he's controlling you know it's like I, that's what i'm hoping is new variety of enemies and that's what yeah. i want oh uh, we got um still no news on um spitterman yeah, for the PlayStation owners, no news in Spider-Man. Yeah, but as a warning though, for the free upgrade, because I told you about this last night, you have to down. It has it's a full download for a new game, like yeah, a full download. To, like I to. had, I decided against it. I was like, dude, I have a PS5. Like it only has what roughly 650 gigs. I'm not gonna waste any more on just a slightly better version of Mortal Kombat 11. I think we're fine with the ones one mm-hmm. we have. By the way, you know, also guys, check out our. World Combat 11 Plater. You'll enjoy it. Uh, hopefully. Um, but um, <laughs> yeah, early 2021 for the Hawkeye and the next gen stuff. Maybe I think um, I'm guessing early spring for yeah. that. I don't know. Like I, I don't see I don't see like I said, I don't see a large mass coming back until Hawkeye. That's why I, that's my prediction, only because what they showed for Kate was like, okay, we're still kind of in the same world of aim. While Hawkeye, his is in the future, future alternate. I'll give him this though. Unique collection of costumes for Kate. Pretty oh, much. Yeah, Unique selection of costumes, including that random. Looks like he just walked out of a hot top of kind candy factory with one. The, with the arrows in the head. And yeah, everything. it's just the hell, man. Some pinhead shit there. But um, no, um, looking forward to Kate. Overall, um, uh, for me personally, I'll let you do your pan first. Or opinion. I think Kate looks fun. I am kind of worried that even though we're getting new areas and stuff, it does look like the same kind of missions. And the new enemy type they showed is just yet another adaptoid. No. Um, but I am, uh, but I am looking forward to what the Hawkeye expansion is, though. And I find that um, awesome and kind of sad at the same time for the Kate Bishop expansion. So yeah. who think, knows? Yeah, I, Maybe I, I, the Kate Bishop time travel would be while we time wise shit. And that's where that's, what, that's where I'm a little bit disappointed in how oh, you know how she's like she's just that stepping stone to something even better for a character you know you think that it's like they start off with their first character with the bang with big stuff and it's like what they showed was just like okay we're gonna be in the same environment we're gonna be what there's only one new baddie but it's only for multiplayer it's like it, it, it like i said it's not gonna be a huge stepping stone until we get to hawkeye himself you know that's when we're that's when we get a much better probably in-depth story compared to what we get from kate you know, I'm hoping the best for Kate. I can't wait for her. Don't get me wrong. I'm really excited, you know, because I'm, like, trying to get all my characters up so they don't have to worry about just these single characters, you know, these new characters I could work on by themselves, yeah. you know. But I'm, it's like, you know, I'm really excited, but it just yeah. sucks how they have to use her as the stepping stone to get to something even greater. Yeah, my challenge points are so uneven on Hulk. I only have one point to get him to cap, to cap nice. out his challenge card. Like, I was doing it seriously, like 199 out of 200. I'm like... <laughs> but no um yeah i'm looking forward to see where we go kind of bummed it's only it's coming out first week of Sept- uh, december i thought it would be coming out like next week because let's be honest we you and i both agreed this game needs this 
This and, game needs it badly, and it sucks that we have to wait. It has, we have to wait even longer to see if it could survive until now early to, spring. Now, to be fair, to be fair, it's like let's see, today's the nineteenth. Oh, as of recording, today's the nineteenth. Probably a like two and a half week wait, not full three weeks. It's about like a two and a half week wait because uh, nowhere uh, December eighth is a Tuesday, mm-hmm. so like a two and a half week wait. But at yeah. least it's not next year. I will give it that. I'll give it the silver rank. At least it's not next year. You know, at least it's this year, and we'll get to look forward to it. Something for Christmas. It'll hold us over just enough to when I guess eventually um, we'll get the Hawkeye expansion. I'm hoping. I'm hoping for Hawkeye. I'm hoping probably early February. That's you what know what's the for. interesting part too? It's mm-hmm. the uh, the release of the Kate Bishop is December eighth. Do you realize was two days after that, right? Remind me. Game Awards. Yeah, that's true. So to so I've oh my nominees. god, I we are gonna nominees. wait till Game Awards to talk about rapid speculation. But yeah, there's we could see a full trailer for the Avenger for the Hawkeye expansion at Game Awards. So who knows? Maybe or not even that. Maybe uh, like a newer tease for maybe beyond Hawkeye. Maybe you know Black Panther they, would be Black a good Panther, guess. Because there have been stuff that's already been leaking out. I haven't looked at anything. <laughs> But it's like there's already stuff that's been leaking out, so might as well yeah, I, uh, some more info or even the first tease of Spider-Man, possibly. You know, um, yeah, because yeah, we still got that too. Did you hear about that? That in, supposedly in the Spider-Man game, there is they, there is a reference to like their Avengers, but they said they they did an update to where they edited that edited that out. Completely. Yeah, um, I, I'll let you know. It's not a spoiler. Um, when you get because Avengers Tower obviously is in Spider-Man yeah, PS4. When you swing over there. Uh, Spider-Man brings up how they're not here because they're dealing with something on the West Coast, which mm-hmm. a, a lot of people around the time Avengers come out, a lot of people are speculating, oh, this has to be around the same time A Day happens, right? That's why. That's why they took it out like I said, because it was rampant. It, out. it was rampant so, yeah. speculation that the Spider-Man now, PS4 the way, game and, and the way everything's going with Avengers. Insomniacs is like, you know what? Let's separate ourselves away from them. And yeah. It's like it doesn't seem like they're doing so well right now. Yeah, no, no. I, I, cor- like company wise, yeah, I can see that. But like story wise, they definitely don't want it to be like, oh, this Spider Man's coming to Avengers, the same Spider Man from the Insomniac games. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I, yeah, I know about that line because you get to go to Avengers Tower. It's really cool seeing Avengers Tower. So, um, play Spider Man PS4 or remaster or. Fuck his face, new face. Okay, so other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else, when it comes to talking about video games and the few people left that are still playing Avengers, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this trailer. Um, are you one of those very few that are still playing this game, you know, along with us, that 4% that's still playing? Um, you know, are you still hoping or still have hopes for this game to do better at some point? Um, what are you guys' thoughts on Kate Bishop? Do you think it's it's good or do you think it's, it just feels like a, a, you know, a stepping stone to something better with Hawkeye? You know, mm-hmm. let us know in the comments down below. Put down what you thought of our reaction to this uh, deep dive into Kate Bishop. Um, but most importantly, we thank you for watching. And of course, on the next episodes, on the coming episodes, of SRB Gaming, dealing with just video games in general. We, ha- of course, have um, our Mortal Kombat 11 playthroughs. You can look our uh, playthrough oh, play Mortal massive, Kombat 11 story mode. Massive long thing that's coming up. Um, as well as our look into a couple of sp- cyberpunk videos. Um, oh, yeah, that's We're going to look at two. Um, the first one is a 10-minute Xbox uh, gameplay walkthrough. And the second one is the newest episode of Night City Water. One one video or just doing that two separate videos? We'll have to talk about that later. I haven't okay. determined I just, that I was yet. just double checking. Um, but um, yeah, and yeah, next one is going to be Night City Wire, episode five, aka the episode more going. We're sorry because today was supposed to be the original release date. Was it today or tomorrow was the original release date? I forgot for Cyberpunk. But it got pushed to early December. Yeah. Great. And definitely keep an eye out for also, um, because they've already dropped the the nominees, but also for the Game Awards uh, on December 10th. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. On Twitter, I had to agree with one guy. Like, like, my, like, like, was it my mind? Like, my mind says, uh, go to Tsushima. My heart says, um, shit. There was another game on. Oh, my heart says Final Fantasy VII Remake. But the corporate Siamese knows people are going to vote for Last of Us too. <laughs> you know, it's it, it's one of those things where it's going to come down to how. Remember last time it was between 
God of War and Red Dead Redemption. You know, it's like yeah, one I feel like it's gonna be the awards. same vibe. You know, it's gonna one's gonna win a lot of the technical awards while one's gonna actually win the main award. You know, where it's yeah. like overall. Yeah, but that, we'll we're gonna save that yeah, for we'll the actual game later. awards yeah. itself. How are we doing that? So until next time, folks. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very Kate Bishop wibbly wobbly timey wimey filled episode of SRB Gaming. See ya. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. If you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.